A lot of times when people entertain, they like to bring the outdoors in. But tonight, we're bringing the indoors out. And we're going to show you how to do it. Savannah is known for its big porches and welcoming personality. We're here across from the famed Forsyth Park where we're ready to serve cocktails for our first summer soiree. Now before we sit down in the courtyard for our dinner, we're going to have a few nibbles here on the veranda. We've got some little canapes from some of our favorite caterers in Savannah, some Parmesan crisps and ham biscuits from Susan Mason. Mm. She's the best. And our cheese straws from Griffin. Some olives and some lovely olive forks. These are so beautiful from SNA Haddad of Jazine Lebanon. This family has been making cutlery since 1770. And they're often given as state gifts in Lebanon. And our platters are by SCAD alum and professor Kent Knowles. Love Kent's work. This elegant trefoil table is perfect for the veranda. It's based on a French Gothic architectural motif, and we often see this as a badge worn by the Girl Scouts. The home of Juliet Gordon Lowe, the founder of the Girl Scouts, is right here in Savannah. And these great pillows back here in our rocking chairs by SCAD alum Bradley Bowers. If you have some scarves in your collection you'd like to see used in your home every day, just make them into a pillow. That's exactly what we did with Bradley scarves. And this fun pillow by SCAD alum Aaron Finley is a map of Savannah. Okay, where are we on well, there? Well, we're actually right down here. Right there. I love it. You know, I think every whippet needs a bow. <laughs> this cravat is getting tighter and tighter and tighter. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Savannah. Look at this wonderful flower basket from alum Emily Huff. I love the way she put some asparagus in there and it's just mm. elegant. And this bar card we picked up a while ago from SCAD alum Sim Harvey at Arcanum. His business is on Jones Street. If you're in Savannah, go check out everything that Sim has. He has amazing taste. But what about our floral arrangement? We need something in the center of the table. I'll be right back, but you better make some room. I'll be coming in hot. <laughs> make way. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, this is a centerpiece. You may not have a 30-inch urn, but a champagne bucket or a punch bowl would do. And just one elegant orchid would set the tone for your table. Yeah, this is really simple. It's just actually some moss over the orchid in the grower's bucket and some packing peanuts stuffed in the bottom just for height. They're biodegradable, made out of potatoes. You could eat one if you want. <laughs> Munchy. With daylight lasting longer and longer, it's the perfect season to entertain in plein air. And from the veranda to the patio, it's a summer soiree down the Wallace Way. The Wallace Way. I love it. <laughs> Wait a minute, what about the cocktails? I've got them right here. <laughs> Frozen grapefruit a la Martha Stewart with a little sprig of mint. Great with vodka or without. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> On to the backyard. Let's go. These beautiful European style courtyards that you see all over Savannah, they're tiny little hidden gems, usually a water element, beautiful topiaries and gardens. Well, let's get started. Well, we finally found a use for all these bird cages from France. I love the filament lights all through them, kind of a la cantina style. A little French cantina. French cantina. And the birds in the tablecloth? Oh, yeah. This is the Schumacher fabric. It's beautiful. I love Toile this toile. Toile de Paris. Toile de Paris. Or prairie. <laughs> Well, let's get busy. Where should we start? With the chargers. Aubergine leather by our graduate, Elizabeth Seeger. And now the plates. Dinner plates. Thank you. Salad plates. Salad plates. So classic and timeless. I love the fresh green and white. From our friends at Hermes, who help our students so much. Saffron, tangerine. I don't know if these are finger bowls or for a mousse bouche. They'll be for a mousse bouche tonight. Wine before water. But you're gonna have two purples and I'm gonna have two oranges. Okay. The fabulous flatware. We're basic. Hmm. 
One looks sensible and one looks fun. <laughs> Let's go with fun. Little salt cellars, little baskets, perfect for a garden. My grandmother always had these. Salt cellars? Mm-hmm. And the pepper tree. Each one of these can come off and you can pepper. It's amazing. I know. It's so cool. Each person deserves a beautiful little place card by painting alum Honor Bowman, who's also the chair of fine arts at SCAD. Here's our little acorn. Mm-hmm. You have to have acorns. Mighty oaks. These are little seed pods. You can toss them where you will, and flowers will grow. And they're in wallets by Blythe Leonard. I don't want a whole meadow, just a little patch. <laughs> Well, I think everything's looking great. Well, so now let's work on the centerpiece. Yeah. All right. I see you love some orchids. I love some orchids. <laughs> well, that's a great start right there. <laughs> maybe a little moss to go around. Well, maybe let's put the candles. Candles first? Mm -hmm. well, you do the candles, I'll do the moss because the candles okay. sometimes get in the way of the moss. I always like a little shine, a little glimmer, but not everything should be shiny. So you've got your mirror, you've got gilded blossoms here, but you've also got the matte paint on some of these candlesticks. And I think that all works together. Also asymmetrical. Let's not have everything the same height. It needs to have a little visual interest. So we'll need to intersperse some of the smaller ones with the larger ones. There's no reason the candles can't spill out on the table too. True. This is the creative process in action. So these Glitter Ants by Crystal Sokolis, um, she has an MFA and a BFA in accessory design from SCAD. And they're made from upcycled and recycled glitter, wire, and leather. Perfect for an outdoor dinner party. And they're so cool crawling on the plate. Yeah, let's put them in playful conversation with the place settings. A bevy of ants. A colony. Some of these get menacing looking. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we need? Maybe one last flourish? Really? What could you think of? <laughs> uh, bows on the corners. Okay. We like the ticking that complements the toile Schumacher. And these just streaming down. And I think this whole ambience is so Arabian Nights meets Madame Butterfly. <laughs> Take the time this summer to transform your front porch or your back patio into a romantic escape. And safely gather with family and friends under the sun or under the stars. <laughs> Let's welcome our guests. Let's go.